hey you guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to do a pick a card that will focus on you all right so what is your soul calling for you to do um we are going to work with five options here we got option number one two three four and five um option number four i could not find six and I had to just replace it with five. I am sorry. I could not find it. So, yes, I know that this says that it is five, but this is four and this is five. All right. So, yeah, I couldn't find I couldn't find four. I just don't know if, where four went. Um, so. So, yeah, I know the numbers are off, but yeah. Um, timestamps will be inside of the description as well as ways to book with me, follow me on my other social medias, donate to the channel if you can. If you can't, it's really not a big deal. Just make sure you guys are liking, comment, and, you know, subscribe and share my work if you can. Um, I will really appreciate it, honestly. So, yeah, if you can, do it if you can't, I understand. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be quiet just a little minute just to give you guys enough time to choose over your options. All right, so by now you guys should have had enough time to choose. I am going to begin the reading. Hey, option number one, welcome to your reading. So what is your soul calling for you to do? Um, I'm already feeling like you guys are literally carrying um, the weight of the world or you feel like you are carrying um, the weight of the world for some of you. But what is your soul calling for you to do? Option number one, what do your soul want you to do? Okay. So your soul is calling for you to let something go, all right? This can be somebody that you want revenge on. This can be a situation that you just feel did not work out like you wanted it to work out. Um, your soul wants you to let go of your pain, your hurt, um, things that are causing you to feel like you are suffering, like you you can literally feel like you are suffering and um, that is what your soul want you to do. Your soul wants you to stop suffering and you can be actually suffering in silence and in silent and your soul wants you to stop suffering. Your soul wants you to face your fears. I don't know what it is that you do fear, but maybe it's poss possible that you just fear letting go, right? Letting go of that anger or letting go of the situation where you fear if you let it go, they will never get their karma is what I mean. It's like you fear that if you let go of control that they will never get what's owed to them karma wise. Like you will never see this person or these people or something suffer. You will never see them suffer. And your soul kind of just wants you to to let it go because it's destroying you, all right? It's literally like a parasite that is eating you alive and it's still in your joy. It's still in your, it's still in your, um, it's still in your vision, okay? It's still in your happiness and it's all because you are having a tough time letting go of what someone has done to you and this is just a time for you to really just you know detox you may actually need to go through a full detox right um you may actually need to go through a full detox to really remove to really remove the stain that someone put on you. I feel that whatever this, whoever this is, I do feel like it's a person. I feel whoever this is, they really, really hurt you. Okay. Um, they broke your trust. 
all right? They backstabbed you. For some of you, this was a real close friend. This was somebody really close to you, someone who who you trust. You already started off as a person who do not trust. And I feel like this was somebody you really did trust. And it just left a, a nasty taste in your mouth. And a lot of you, you just want to see this person suffer. You want to see this person at their worst. You want to see them cry. You want to see them begging for help. And you don't understand how much energy you are putting into that. You don't understand how much energy you are giving to this dead situation. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. But the key is not to wait for it. It's to move forward and just know that, you know, by you being out of the situation, that is actually a blessing. But you feel like it's worth it. It's it's worth risking it all. Like, this is somebody that you just feel you have to pay. Like, this is somebody that could have, like, literally stole something from you, stole your partner. If this was a friend, this person stole your partner. They stole something from you. So you feel like this person has to pay because of what they took from you. And it's making you very bitter. All right? To the point where you can't possibly even sleep because it's just making you bitter. It's just leaving a toxic, toxic uh, taste in your mouth. Some of you may also need to detox from chemicals. But I really feel like it's energy that you need to detox from. All right. Some of you need to watch the things that you are using. Your body is very sensitive, okay? Your eyes are very sensitive. Your lips are very sensitive. Your body in all is sensitive. But I just feel your mind, your body, your soul, it's all called calling you to do a cleanse, like a full cleanse, all right? It is okay to let things go, all right? And and bring peace into your life. It is okay to let things go and bring peace into your life. And just just try to focus on the love that you did share with this person. Um, even if this is a mother, all right? Even if this is a father, a family, family member, whoever this is, they just left a real sour taste in your mouth. And you really, you really do feel like you hate them like you hate the thought of them you hate their voice you hate their name like you hate them and I feel like at one point you did love this person very much if it was a lover a friend whoever it was you loved this person very much but they just left a stain on you so your soul is call calling you to call for peace all right. Call out for peace and forgiveness. Okay. So that is what I got for you guys who have chose option number one. Um, I know it's hard to let things go, but this is literally like a parasite that is eating you inside out. So your soul is urging you to just let it go. All right, do not waste any more of your time on a situation that you have been saved from. Even if it was a family member, even if it was a friend, the beauty of it is God removed you from that situation. No matter if it, if, if a couple of thorns hit you, it doesn't matter. God still removed you from that situation. Okay, for, for a lot of you, I just got that. You was been supposed to move out of that situation, but it was it it was kind of like because you wouldn't move, these people were forced to hurt you till you till you got out the way. Even if it was a close friend, whoever this is, you weren't meant to still be this person's friend. You wasn't meant to to um, you know, you you have better things ahead of you. That's all I want to say. You have better things ahead of you and just let it go. You'll find more peace by just letting things go. All right. Literally like dead weight. Just like this image is like dead weight on top of you. 
And again, you like feel like you carry in the world because you carry in dead weight, dead energy. Um, it doesn't benefit you waiting for them to get their karma. It doesn't. So I do definitely wish you the best. And I just pray that, you know, you listen to this reading and you, you find some peace in it and you do actually apply this this um information to your life and just start by just breathing and forgive them just let it go even if you have to write a letter and burn it and just let it go you know sometimes situations you do not get you do not get closure you know why i don't know but sometimes you don't get closure just let it go write it out let it go and let that be that all right. Hope you guys enjoyed my reading until next time. Hey, option number two, welcome to your reading. So if you chose this here, what is your soul calling for you to do? What is your soul calling for you to do? Just look cute. Just look handsome. Look good. All right. Your soul is calling for you to look good. Okay. Your soul is calling for you to look good. And, um, okay, your soul is calling for you to, to create. And when you create, do not create off of what you see from somebody else. Do not copy. All right. Do your own thing is what your soul is calling you to, to do. Be a unicorn. Do your own thing. Um, you don't have to be like everybody else. You are going to do something that is going to stand out. So be kind with yourself, all right? Um, don't bash yourself just because you create something and it does not look like someone else's. It's not supposed to. We are not all supposed to be the same, even though society make it look like we are all supposed to be the same. We got to be the same sizes. We got to be into the same thing. We got to go for the same type of men or women. We got to do the same jobs. And it's just like no one wants to be different. No one wants to be authentic anymore. You have a bunch of followers and your soul do not want you to be a follower. All right. Your soul want you to make creations that feel good to the soul. Even if it's not popular, do things that feel good to the soul. All right. Keep your own ideas. Do not let anyone change you. Do You do not need to work on your look. Some of you, you feel like your look is outdated. You can tweak it, but do not take, do not take you out of it, right? Do not make it so Photoshopped that it doesn't even look real. That's what your soul wants you to do. So whatever you are working on, that's yourself too. Whatever you are working on, business-wise, your, your body, pretty much whatever it is, just do not take you out of it. All right, that's what I'm getting. Just do not take you out of it. Remember you. Remember remember the child you. Remember the innocent you. Your soul wants you to use that. When you begin to when you begin to create, your soul wants you to to use that. You see how he's he's a grown up, right? Stretching down to this little girl and I just get the sense that it's like your soul is like literally like reach down, reach out to you, all right? And go back to that time. Go, go back to that time when you were young and innocent. That's where your creations are going to come out, all right? That's where all the motivation is, is hidden. It's inside of you when you were when you were younger, when you were innocent. You didn't know right from wrong like that. You didn't know um you weren't conditioned, okay? Not you didn't know, but you weren't conditioned to to how they want us to be, you know? Everybody wearing um 
everybody wearing lace fronts. Well, your soul don't want you to do that. I'm just using lace fronts, but you know what I mean. Like, your soul want you to do what feels right to you because you know what is right for society. You know what this world need. You know this world is lacking the certain qualities that you have, right? Whatever qualities that you have, whatever qualities that you have that make you special, do not be hard on yourself because those are the qualities that you are going to use. Some of you, I don't know, but I'm, you may be sick or you may be going through something, okay? Divine intervention, you may be going through something and I'm not sure of... Um, what it is, but just know that um, whatever it is, it is definitely going to work for you and not against you. So a while back, it's something like me, right? Like a while back, I lost function in, in my leg or whatnot. And I would have never been where I am now if that didn't happen. I don't feel like I would. I feel like I would have chose to do something different or I would have been doing something different if that didn't happen. So I feel like if you guys are going through anything health-wise, this is why. Because it's like it's happening for you and it's not happening to you. Like um, whatever you are going through is going to benefit you and it's going to help you. And it's going to help you create. And it's going to bring a lot of understanding. And it's like you are one out of a million right? You are like one out of a million. You just need to know that it is okay for you to be different. It is okay for you to step out and be different. Your creation do not have to look like everybody else's. And I know that's really hard, especially when you're on social media. You always, you know, will look at your, your product versus somebody else's product and be like, oh man, I should have did it like that. Oh, I should have did it like that. But you don't understand that Everybody is literally using AI at this point to make things look like something and pictures or something else. And it's just like, what is real and what is fake at this point? Like, we really don't know. <laughs> we really don't know. You can take somebody's voice and do something with it. You could do too much. So stay authentic. Be kind to yourself. All right? And if people and environments and, and jobs, whatever it is, if it does not align with your soul and the real you, cut it out. Let it go. Because whatever you came to do, it's going to be life-changing. Yeah, they may laugh and call you weird. Ha, 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 you're a weirdo. Blah, 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 blah. But... It's going to change the world. And then those same people that was laughing, they're going to, they're going to need you. All right. They're going to need you. So do not focus on who's laughing at you. Do not focus on, oh, well, my business doesn't look at like someone else's business. Yours is not supposed to. So I believe you guys are working on business or something like that. Whatever you are doing, yours yours look different and that is okay. That is just perfectly fine. So just be okay with that. Just be okay with um, whatever it is that you are doing. It's different. Okay? So that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Hey, option three, welcome to your reading. So if you chose option three, what do your soul want you to do? All right, what is your soul calling for you to do? You might need to laugh more. You might need to laugh at situations more. Whatever you are um, going through, you might need to just a good old laugh, honestly. All right. So what do your soul want you to do? Stop being so judgmental. All right. What do your soul want you to do? Let's see. What is this? I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Yeah, you might need a good laugh, honestly. 
Your soul is calling for you to calm down. Some of you, you need a good night's sleep. All right. Um, you need to know that you do not need to worry. Some of you, you guys are really, 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 really worried and focused on tomorrow, your future, um, the world, what is changing. It's causing you a lot of um, kind of like anxiety. Um, and it's hard for you guys to sleep. Your soul is asking you to rest more. All right. Um, and know that that you do not need to worry. All right. Um, some of you, you want to be a hero. I'm getting, you want to be a hero. And I feel that it's like, it's just you, it's in you. You want to be a hero for someone else. I feel like you, you could be like, you have like younger siblings and you are older than them and you kind of feel like, you know, you, you are doing everything for them and this is how you like it because this is all you know. But it's like, you do not have to worry. You do not have to take the weight of the world. Um, you, you don't feel like you can sleep. You feel like sleep is a waste of your time and, and your soul is definitely calling you to sleep, to rest so that you could feel better, all right? Um, maybe you guys have a new child or something here, but your child, your, <laughs> your child, your soul wants you to nurture your inner child, all right? Um, and I feel like nurture this inner child by going out, having fun. Don't be too judgmental. You do not have to be so strict on yourself. You do not have to be strict. That's all I'm hearing is like, you do not have to be strict on yourself. Okay. Um, and whatever, like some of you, you may be having health issues or like, you know, you have cravings for like the wrong thing and it does not have to be with food. But if it's food, it's like you need to pray to your archangels and ask them to take away these cravings or whatever. That's what's really standing out to me. Um, But I also feel it's just your your desire. OK, Um, your desire is like. You want to be, I don't know. I just feel like you want a lot and you don't need to worry about it. Like, this is like wanting to have, um, wanting to have millions in the bank when you don't need that. It's like you want more than what you need. Okay. You want to be put in position. You may not be there yet. You are working your way up to being the boss or, um, the you are you may be the co-owner but you want to be the owners like something like that is like whatever you are worrying about is like you don't need to worry about that um some of you feel like you want you want what someone else what someone else have and it's not for you and it may just be that you know you want more wealth and that is what you guys are craving. It's not food. It's not, uh, it's not food. It's not, you know, drugs or anything like that. You guys are just really hard on yourself because you want a lot of wealth and there's nothing wrong with that. But your soul is just telling you to calm down, take a break, relax. Okay. Relax again, relax. Okay. Um, and I mean, watch watch your reason behind it, too. I'm getting like, watch your read it. I mean, watch your reason behind it. So whatever reason you are doing this, watch that reason. So if you are doing this just to shut somebody up and make someone look bad or have more than someone else, 
watch that because that does not align with who you are and it's it's like it's it's just not good you know so watch that um and trust the process trust that you do not have to overwork yourself trust that you can rest get up and be rejuvenated and then get back to whatever you are doing but trust trust that everything is working for you and not against you so just trust and have fun go out and laugh have a drink or or if you are having like if you have a strict diet go eat some sweets or something like give yourself more grace all right and patience okay so that is what i got for you guys that chose option number three i really hope you guys enjoyed this reading until next time Hi, option number four, which yes, it does say five, but this is option number four. Welcome to your reading. So what is your soul calling for you to do? For some of you, you need to get busy. I'm not going to lie to you. You need to get busy. You need to go out and, and enjoy life. However you take that, go out and enjoy life. Have fun. Um, if you have been called to call somebody from your past, call that person. They're waiting for you to call them. You have been thinking about them. Call that person. Reach out to them. And I'm not just saying that because it's a phone on here. I'm literally just, you know, I'm feeling that. Um, have have fun. Enjoy yourself. Live this life that you have been given, okay? Um, you, you have the opportunity to live every day. So literally go and live every day, okay? Um, please help me accept everything that is going, wait, 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 what the hell does it say? Okay, uh, please help me accept that everything is going in the right direction, yeah. So, like I said, um, definitely, like, understand that just because you go and you go have fun or whatever, like, that doesn't mean that you're not a good person person a, a good girl a good guy and I think that you guys it's like this I don't really know what to call it but it's like this it's basically where you guys are like okay I'm trying to be faithful to the Lord and listen I'm not against it at all but basically your soul is just saying have some fun okay have fun it's okay, all right? You do not have to be so strict on yourself. Like, oh, I got to do Bible study. Oh, I got to make sure I don't talk to this person because I just did this and I just healed and I just did this. It's like, don't be like that. You're not living. You, It's like you're really not living, okay? And, and understand that... What the hell did this say? And understand that... Help me to accept that everything is going in the right direction. That, yeah, it's no right or wrong. Understand that there is no right or wrong. Your wings will not get cut off just because you talk to somebody from your past or just because you do something. Your wings are not going to get cut off. Um, you are not going to fail if you reach out or if you was to speak to someone or something like that. Uh, what does it say? I am helping you. What the hell? I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Literally, y'all, y'all are been your soul wants you to rekindle things with someone, but you guys are so like tough on yourself to where you. You feel like, let me not reach out to, to, to this person or let me not um, rekindle things because it will be the wrong move. Or it's kind of like you just see this person as somebody that you out like you. have They will be bad for you or this is a bad person or they don't align with you now and stuff like that. However, you aren't paying attention to the fact that your soul is actually wanting you to do this like. They actually, your soul actually want you to rekindle things. And I didn't turn this over. Like, yeah, your soul is actually wanting you to rekindle things. This could have been something that you guys prayed for. You could have prayed that you rekindle things with this person. 
um, and things worked out and you guys would align one day and stuff like that. And this is the time. You're not damaged anymore. Your vision is clearer. So you are going to make better decisions even if they don't. And you have to trust that. That is what I'm getting, that you guys have to trust that. You have to trust that, that you know, you have to really trust that um, you are walking in the right direction. A lot of you have just been stuck in a, in a house reading whatever you are learning or whatever and it's nothing wrong with that i'm not throwing no shade because honestly that's what i've been doing i've been staying to myself being focused and things like that but do keep in mind you are not put on this earth to stay alone and be alone everybody just went went and got in their, in their feelings everybody is in their feelings and people are like Oh, throw this person in the trash. You heal now. Don't go back there. Don't do this and don't do that. Understand people change. Circumstances change. And you do not have to be afraid. You do not have to be afraid that whatever happened to you is going to happen to you again because it's not. And that's what Spirit is saying. That it's not going to happen again. And it's not going to happen like that. Because when it did happen to you, like, let's say somebody, your soulmate did hurt you. Um, your soulmate did break you down. This person was used to do that because this was things that you needed to heal within yourself. They used this, used this as a stepping stone, right? All right, we got past that. Doesn't mean this person is not supposed to be in your life. They did what they were supposed to do at the time that they were supposed to do. And now look at how you came out. Look at you. You're still standing. You're still beautiful. You're still this beautiful soul. So what did they really take from you? Nothing. So it's like, if you have been um, wanting to reach out or call somebody, contact someone, or even accept their, their love um, offer or whatever has been um, offered to you, you do not have to keep denying it um, when you know that it, that's what you want to do. Now, I can see if you didn't want to. I can see if you like, you know what? Nope, I've outhealed this. I don't have no feelings for you. Blase, blase. That's understandable. Right? That's understandable. But what I'm getting is this is like wanting to do something, but you like, nah, I'm not going to do it because this and this and this. When it's like... You got to really think about what is telling you to do it. Do it. Now, don't take my word for it. Do use your own discernment. But this is just what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting from your reading, okay? I'm just getting that you guys have been... You guys have just been... Um, you have this whole routine and you're healed and this and this and this, which is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with staying to yourself, wanting to heal and staying focused. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. But you're not meant to be alone. No man is supposed to be alone. No woman is supposed to be alone. Um... And that's basically what your soul want you to know. Go have some fun. Pick up the phone. Say, hey, you know, you're going to see that things have changed. And go from there. You have to trust yourself. Spirit also wants you to trust yourself because you know. Like if this person come back with the same attitude, you know. You know how to deal with it. You have to trust you have to trust that you know how to deal with it. You have to trust yourself. Because you're not going to just let this person just come back and fumble you again. So you have to trust that you will make better decisions. And you have to know that. I want to actually pull you some angel message cards. But I don't see them right now. Let me see. I'm going to pull you guys some messages let's think of you know what mommy's messages for oh uh, y'all i don't know where they are oh good 
found them. Yeah, but I want to pull you guys up. you guys want to get into growing your own food but that is something that your soul wants you to do your body wants you to do is to grow your own food start making your own natural products all right so yeah your soul want you to know again trust you need to trust all right um you need to trust because you this time will be different there will be um, success, all right? Wait, I feel like, you know, you don't need to wait, but do it on your own time. Let's see what else your soul wants. All right, wait and trust. So wait and trust, but it's time for you to start communicating. It's okay to go after what you desire, even if what you desire was what broke you. Because what broke you was actually what fixed you, what fixed your vision, what made you stronger. What, make, what made you strong enough to endure whatever you went through. So if anything was to ever happen, it's it's not going to happen again. It's like, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame. I mean, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You will not be fooled again. Let me get you one last message. All right, well, <laughs> two messages came out. So uh, within the next few months, it's all up to you what you choose to do. All right, let me see what's in the back of here. And you need to choose, choose a direction that fits for you. All right. Whatever that may be. Okay. And then you have a year from now in romance. So yeah, maybe within a year from now, maybe you're not ready now, but spirit is just telling you it's okay. All right. So if you've been questioning um, a soulmate connection, this is your confirmation that it's okay. It's okay to like this person again. It's okay to want this person. It's nothing wrong with it. It's not, you're not going to go to hell just because you talk to them. And I'm laughing, but I'm, I'm really serious. Like you're not going to go to hell just because you talk to, just because you talk to them. You're not, nothing is going to happen just because, you know, you've chosen to, um, entertain this person again but wait till you are ready all right i'm not telling you guys to do it today do it tomorrow do it whenever you feel ready but if you have been thinking of somebody wanting to reach out to them it is okay for you to do it whenever you decide to do it okay it is absolutely okay for you to do it whenever you decide to do it and not a moment sooner and not a moment later okay so that's you guys reading i hope you guys enjoyed until next time hey option five which is option six um like i said earlier i couldn't find four so four had to be five and you have to be six anyways um so what is your soul calling you to do Maybe your soul is just calling you to be sweet. Have some sweets. Have some sweet time. Uh-oh. So your soul is definitely calling you to let go of control, okay? Um, let go of something that you cannot change. Something is happening in your life that you cannot change. And you are holding on to whatever this is very tightly. And your soul is telling you to let it go. Because it's only, it's like, it's, it's one of those things where you pull it. Like, let's say when you drive in a drop off the rental car. And if you was to bag up, it's going to bust the, the tire. Like, it's something like that. It's like, you're pulling this or whatever. And it's just only hurting you while you're trying to pull it. 
Um, some of you, your your soul is either telling you to strengthen your diet or telling you to loosen up on it, okay? You may be, wow, it, my phone won't focus. Let me see. All right, something, uh, you may be eating unhealthy food or you may need to incorporate sweets, okay? It's okay to have a sweet here and there. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but it's okay for you to have a, um, sweets here and there, or it just may be that you are you are having too much sweets. You are having too much of a good time. So just make sure you are keeping some sort of balance in your life. Um, Spirit just wants you to create some type of um balance in your life okay um and pray more i feel like connect with whoever or whatever you believe in um more and ask that whatever you believe in is there with you and for you um because i know everybody have their own set of beliefs but Ask your spirit team to step in and help you with whatever this is. Um, if you are struggling with too much or too little, ask your spirit team to step in for you. And for some of you, it is that you are struggling with too much and what you are eating. Um, what you are eating could definitely be affecting like your moods, your mood swings and things like that. But I also feel like it's your desires. It's it's what you are desiring to do. Um, a lot of greed or something like that. Some of you could be greedy, but whatever it is, um, your soul just wants you to bring balance in your life. It's, your soul is not saying, oh, no, never, ever. You can never have that. Your soul is just saying, no, it's you need a balance, okay? You need a balance. And your soul is definitely saying that, Whatever you continue to try to hold on to, if you continue to keep trying to hold on to this, it's only going to hurt you in the long run. It's not going to give you the outcome that you want. And that's pretty much like what your soul is just saying. It's like it's not going to give you that sweet outcome that you want. Like the investments that you are making. Really think about the investments that you are making because it's not going to give you um, that outcome that you really want. You need to relax and you really just need to really go, really go with the flow here. All right. Um, whatever it is that you want, it can't be, be rushed. Like if you have started a diet, you cannot rush this diet. All right. Don't, don't start a diet, start a lifestyle change. You can still eat whatever you are eating, but incorporate more healthy options and more healthy foods do not just sweets 70 sweets seven days a week because it's going to affect your body but if you was to have sweets on one day out of that week it's nothing wrong with that it's like it's not like you can't do it ever but bring balance into your life your soul is just calling for you to just have balance in just balance out everything pretty much so yeah that's what i'm seeing for you guys that chose option number five just bring more balance in your life and you know incorporate sweets if you've been too strict and if not then if you are overeating or or whatever you are doing just do less of that all right so that is what i got for you guys hope you guys enjoyed until next time